high schooler in Louisiana has been suspended indefinitely after he refused to cut his dreadlocks. The reason why he refused to cut his dreadlocks is because he is Rastafarian and under his uh, religious beliefs, it is against his religion to cut his dreadlocks. So the first day of school began on August 8th. He shows up and apparently his dreadlocks were too long uh, for the school. Below his collar. It was below his collar and so um, he was advised that he would need to cut his dreadlocks in order to follow the school's dress code. The following day he showed up with his hair up. He's like, all right, I can't cut it because it, I'm Rastafarian and I'm not allowed to cut it, so I'll just put it up. It won't be that big of an issue. And they decided, no, uh, you're, you do not get a pass. Since you refuse to cut it, you are suspended. You can't come back until you cut your hair. His mother had documentation proving that he is not supposed to cut his hair under their religious beliefs, right? Due to their religious beliefs. And nonetheless, the school administrators refused to allow him to come back to school. At this point, he has already missed 10 days of class as a result of the stupid dress code. And so the ACLU has gotten involved. And uh, as I mentioned, the student's mother provided a letter to the school superintendent from the First Church of Rastafar uh, that indicated the boy's family were members and explained the importance of dreadlocks to their faith. I did not mean to chuckle there I, for some no, reason. I left. I did it. I caused you to laugh. Um, <laughs> Rastafarians believe Leviticus 21, book 21, chapter 5, forbids them to cut their hair and dreadlocks are central to their religious beliefs. I mean, you know, whatever. We got to be a little consistent on the show. That's silly. But I know. I, I don't. It. I don't. I mean, look, I don't believe in religion. I think it's all silly. So I'm sorry if that offends tie, Rastafarians. But but tying your hair up to meet the standard of not below the collar seems like a satisfactory response to that. One hundred percent. Can you imagine school administrators having a no jewelry policy as part of their dress code, and a student shows up with a cross? Yeah, good point. Are they going to yeah. tell that student, "Hey, you know what? You got to leave. You're suspended indefinitely until you ref you stop wearing that cross." I, I believe, it's not going to happen. I believe that schools should have a significant right to control what their students wear. I I agree. Dress, all those things. They want to have a dress code. They don't want to let them express individuality at school. School. Actually, no. I don't really mind that at all. Um, but you know, bounds of reason. Like you can't. The dress code. If you have a religion that it says you got to wear a white power shirt. No, you can't. And we can restrict that. But this is pretty reasonable. Uh, he's tying his hair up. Yeah. It's, so let it's, him tie it up. It's beyond reasonable. And also, I think administrators, especially when it comes to the dress code, fail to remember why the dress code was put there in the first place. They have dress codes because they want to ensure that students don't show up to class wearing something that's distracting, something that's going to take away from the educational experience of the, the students, right? And so this guy showing up with dreadlocks isn't going to distract anyone. Yeah, okay, it makes them uncomfortable because they're probably ignorant and uncomfortable with something that's different from their own religion or different from the way that they style their hair. But if if it's something that it's something that falls under his religious belief. Let him do it. It's not distracting anyone. Look, I remember when I was going to school, grade school, the reason why we had dress codes is because girls would show up to school half naked. Okay? And they're like, no, we can't have that. We can't have you guys dressed like you're going to a club. Right? And that's understandable. But in this case, it's a religious belief. Let him do it. You wouldn't tell a Christian student to take his cross off. Yeah, and let him go back to school for crying out loud. And you're depriving all the other school, all the other kids at the school of hanging out with their cool Rastafarian friend. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody would be like, everybody would be like, no man, I'm friends with Johnny. It's Rastafarian. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah.